So, okay, I get uh, quite a few questions regarding this uh, 3D printer, and people often want to know what's the quality of a print. Um, and as you can see, there are some uh, some less than optimal uh, prints, but that is really mainly due to um, not having the correct settings and not having the correct heat. Uh, for, well, that's one of the settings. Um, when printing this, uh, uh, when using this printer. So here, this is quite the best example to show. This is a functional gear. Um, on the one side, depends on how you print it. You've got settings wherever you want this type of uh, security to, um, well, it's actually called the support uh, for it to rest on because this was printed uh, pretty much like this vertically where I just did a test with this one um, I scaled it wrong accidentally as you can see it's a little bit more oval shaped than, than a circular but I mean obviously it, it's I mean if you had a proper gear that would by no means uh, by all means work I mean as you can see this is a printer currently printing and uh, but that inside uh, is with a with a printer you can set how thick or how thin you want the inside to be. So I mean this is called the infill. So if you set the infill to be zero, then you get something like this where you've got no uh, absolutely nothing inside. <coughs> now, uh, as you can see, uh, removing it from a bottom is sometimes a little bit of a tricky uh, situation. But so you can choose your infill to be quite low, you can uh, also choose it to be quite high, such as here. Um, this infill is extremely high, as you can see, it is there's quite a lot of um, material there that's quite strong. You won't be able to break this. Now, there's a second setting that you can set, depending, let's say, if you wanted to print something like this, but very strong. As you can see, this was a single line of. Um, uh, uh, filament plastic filament that was printed and it's not that that strong but you can always if increase if, if, uh, the shell width and that is as you can see over here there's a, a little uh, okay don't worry about that that i burnt when i was picking up um there's a little the, the shell width of this thing is a lot uh, thicker and should be able to handle it. So that when I printed this, I didn't know so much about the shell width when I tested the, the thinnest size possible. And as you can see, it's not very very strong. But in something like this, this is another example. It is really really strong. Um, I dropped it, and there, there were no damage. Uh, okay, a little bit of damage on this side, and it oh, you know it allows you to pick in. But we, uh, essentially, there's no, there were no damage, except for my specifically, um, for, well, throwing it to the ground to do a test to see how strong this thing is, and that's a point where it actually broke, broke off. So, uh, but I mean, if you have a look in there, that is exactly this over here printed like that. So um, then, uh, yeah, sometimes you want to print the top side. As you can see here, the main issue was uh, my printing material uh, is quite bad. It's very important that you, that you choose a uh, good quality uh, filament. As you can see, this is very spaghetti-like, um, which is not how it's supposed to be printing. Even with this one, it's very, very much, you can see the lines in it. Whereas uh, with, with this filament, it's much more smoother um, and you, oh, you can definitely see it's much more uh, and I mean uh, uh, well, uh, well much more um, usable if I can say that in, in that terms uh, so yeah I need to clean this off this was just due to old filament I, I ran out of filament that's why this thing suddenly I stopped it halfway because I, at that point I don't have additional filament and I just switched over to print a new gear with a right correct ratio and now I'm printing another another one and as you can see it's, it's doing its job it's taking maybe about uh, let's say about maybe eight hours or so well yes eight hours to print this uh, print this red gear so, so yeah and then you can always print the, generate the image and print directly from that and this is the default uh, model that you get with so yeah, that's a E3D printer.